Hey, I'm Sophie from Curry's and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your JVC Android TV. Now there's multiple ways you can do this. You can use your remote control, your Android phone or a computer and I'm going to be doing it on this laptop today. I'm also going to be showing you how to tune it in to get you up and running. You need to connect the aerial to the back of your TV. If you've got a set-top box such as Sky, Virgin or BT, connect this to the TV by HDMI cable. If you are going to connect to the internet via Ethernet cable rather than Wi-Fi, connect that at this point. This is what we recommend for the best experience. Now plug the TV into the mains and switch it on. Your TV is now in standby mode. Press the power button on your remote and the LED indicator will start to flash for a couple of seconds and then it will switch on. The first time your TV is switched on, it will automatically be in setup mode. Press and hold the back arrow and menu buttons together for five seconds to pair your remote. From the welcome menu, select your desired language and then press the OK button. There are three options at this stage and we're going to go through the computer setup option. To set up using your computer, first you need to skip the Android phone setup option. Highlight skip and press OK. You will now be asked to select your Wi-Fi and enter your password. However, if you've connected your TV via Ethernet cable, you will not have to select your Wi-Fi or enter your password. Your TV will automatically scan for your wireless network. It will show a list of networks available. Highlight yours and press OK. Enter your Wi-Fi password and highlight the forward arrow and press OK. In a couple of seconds, your TV will show it is connected to the internet. To sign into your Google account, highlight sign in, then press OK. You now have two options. Highlight use your phone or computer and press OK. Now on your computer, visit androidtv.com forward slash setup. You'll see a six digit code on your TV that you'll have to enter on your computer. Once on the web page, enter the number that is shown on your TV screen. Then select your Google account or if you don't have one, you can create one. Finally, if you're not already signed into your Google account, do this now and then it's back to the TV to finish the setup. This is where you will choose your Android settings. If you agree to the Google Terms of Service, the Google Play Terms of Service and the Google Privacy Policy, highlight Accept and press OK. Select whether you want Google to use your location by highlighting Yes or No and pressing OK. If you want Google to be sent diagnostic information, highlight yes or no and press OK. You will now see examples of what Google Assistant can do for you. Press OK to continue. You can read your service and privacy notice by highlighting service and privacy and pressing OK. Then select if you want to switch personal results on or not and press OK. And finally, press the forward arrow to scroll through information and press OK. You will now need to select your desired country, set up a password for parental controls, select home mode, and decide whether you allow access for your built-in Google Chromecast. First, press the up or down arrows to highlight your country and press OK. You now need to create your password. Press OK, then enter your desired password. Highlight tick and press OK. Be sure to keep a note of the password you've set. Next, highlight the home TV mode and press OK. Confirm you want to select home mode by highlighting yes and pressing OK. And finally, select if you want to allow the built-in Google Chromecast to always be available and press OK. If you've got a set-top box connected, then you can skip this step. However, if you don't, this is how you tune your TV. First, make sure your aerial is connected, then highlight aerial and press OK. Next, highlight scan, then press OK. Your TV will start to scan for all available channels and a video will play whilst it's scanning. Once the scan is complete, highlight finish, then press OK. Next, accept the terms and conditions by pressing OK. Wait a few moments and then you're all set up, ready to go. If you'd like more info on setting up your TV, why not visit us in store, head online or chat to one of our tech experts on Shop Live.